begin with those families of Madison County murder victims wanting the state to change the way it sentences convicted killers. Those families, uh, those family members protesting the state's split sentence act. That's a common practice that most people probably don't fully understand. Way 31's Matt Kroschel breaks down what the split sentence act is and how it leads to convicted murderers serving less time behind bars. And Marie, the act allows criminal court judges to suspend portions of defendant's sentence. Under a split sentence, the judge imposes a limited amount of jail time followed by a period of probation. And these victims' families say that law needs to change. I'm the mother of a 16-year-old murder victim, and we've not had an arrest. Donna Howell is a Madison County mother on a mission, uniting other families. This is all young murder victims, front and back. This protest outside the Madison County Courthouse raising major questions about the use of split sentences that happens every day in courtrooms across the state. And we have several of them that are getting five-year split sentences. A common example of a split sentence is a five-year suspended after two, three years on probation. In that sentence, the jail term would be two years if the defendant doesn't have issues while locked up. This is the big thing because it's being widely used throughout Alabama and the public doesn't understand what it's about. They don't understand when they hear 20 year or 20 year split. They don't understand that the judge has the autonomy to give them no more, no more than five years and no less than three. So Donna and her group are hoping to pressure lawmakers to change the law, much like the amended state good time law removing the ability for people convicted of manslaughter to get out on good time that change spurred by the death of Sheffield police officer nick reisner it was signed into law this month and we are victims also we got a life sentence without parole because we will never be the same so the split sentence is really used as like a bargaining chip by prosecutors in some cases but it's the judge who has the absolute discretion to give or not to give a split sentence. However, certain types of Alabama criminal convictions aren't eligible for a split sentence under that Alabama code. Those include Class A and Class B felony child sex abuse cases. They're not eligible. I'm in the studio, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Matt. The sentencing judge is the only one who can change the terms of the split sentence. In some cases, they can do a reverse split, meaning probation first. And if the defendant abides by those terms, the judge can suspend the rest of the sentence, meaning zero jail time.